Hey you folks, Quillington here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. We are the Count of Paris. We've got we've got a few issues, I'm not gonna lie. Um a little bit of an odd character over here, and presumably someone might be trying to assassinate him or something like that. Um but you know what? We're not gonna go into hiding. It's gonna be fine. We are currently the Count of Paris and Orléans, or Orleans, uh, and we're trying to fabricate a claim over here on Blois. We're trying to fabricate more claims in the area of the Duchy of um, of Orleans. Now, the reason I'm not fabricating on, say, the seat of the Duchy itself is because our Chancellor is quite poor, and it was occurring to me, hey, I could probably do something about that, um, because it's not like this is someone in an important role or anything like that, so I could, I could sub him out pretty easily. So I went on a bit of a recruiting spree over here, to find uh, various people um, that I could invite to the court, and assuming they say yes, uh, we could probably replace our chance with someone better, which A, will allow us to fabricate a claim faster, but um, if they're skillful enough, we can actually fabricate a claim on the duchy itself as well. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and unpause. Technically, there's a war go Whoa, many things just happened. Okay, you're gonna accept, join our house. That's gonna be fine, excellent. What is this? Invite to plot. Um, you would like to you would like help fabricating a claim in a county? No, I'm not interested. Um, and this war over here is the West Frankian Lollard Revolt. Eh, all right, that's fine. I think we'll mostly just chill. Uh huh. Uh, some of the people we didn't invite have claims. I probably won't bother pressing them. Yeah, like that. That doesn't seem like something that I should be interested in. We do have some raiders poking around in in France itself, although not really annoying me personally. And looks like they might be getting bopped a little there. Although there's the shattered retreat thing going on. We have an open council position all of a sudden. I guess someone died. A court chaplain. Now, if I recall correctly, we do have a religious fella over here who's angry for not being on the council, but he's not that good. So yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and pick up the court physician over here and throw him in there. Um, but I think it's a good chance to take a look at the Chancellor. Look at this, like this uh, Onlek guy over here. Um, he is a bastard. He's trusting. Gregarious, humble. You know, he's got the 18 diplomacy as opposed to the 7 diplomacy. That seems pretty good to me. So we're going to go ahead and change the appointment. Um, that did reset you a bit. I'm going to get you to start fabricating claims on the seat of the Duchy of Orleans, and we're going to see how that does for us. Um, hunt apostates, research cultural tech in, uh, in Paris. I think that's going to be all right. It's interesting that the seat of the Duchy of, the Duchy of Orleans is not in Orleans, but maybe that'll change later on. Uh, right, you're still doing plot discovery because I'm hoping that we discover some plots against me that might be trying to kill me or something like that. Don't know exactly what the deal is. Go into hiding and the weak claims, that's fine. Okay, in any case, I'm a lot more comfortable about that overall. Now, otherwise, um, I mean, we don't have any particular plots going on ourselves over... Oh, no, that's not true. We have a plot to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Orleans. I forgot about that. Um, let's... Lately, I found myself worrying about my little daughter, Rixit. The law is brought up... The lass is brought up believing in a false god who can offer her nothing but illusions and hollow promises. Perhaps Rixit is ready to be introduced to the truth faith. Read her from the Quran. Uh, I'm going to say the risks are too uh, great. We're mostly going to try, I think, to keep our family in a... Um, as, you know, just... just well, I don't, Catholics, I guess, probably? But Christian, in any case... I mean, honestly, being a heretic might be worse than, than following a different religion altogether in this particular area. So probably we're going to mostly keep them as Catholics uh, for the long run. This is, you know, just Hunter Villico is going to be a bit of a freak. I don't think we're going to be like the Shias of Paris. I think that would make life a little too difficult for us. Anywho, plotters um, by plot power. Okay, well, first of all, why didn't you get in invited? We have auto-invite. Oh, these might be some new people that we just recruited. So we're going to invite you. Um, I think what we'll do is we will not be able to send you a gift. Oh, we don't have, we don't have any money. And I mean, he's a duke is part of the problem. I might be able to few more. Oh, this bishop over here is also possessed. Huh. Well, okay, let's keep that going. Uh, Arixit actually needs a childhood focus. Uh, looks like we're going to go with Intrigue, because you've got a couple of positive traits for that. Um, you would like to arrange marriage... Uh, 
Um. Okay, whatever. It's fine. She leaves the court. She leaves the court. Uh, Castle Town's been built in Orleans. Excellent. That's why I don't have any money because we were building up some stuff. But our tax money is going up, or up and up and up and up, which I'm very pleased at. Actually, our income's pretty substantial. I would say for this phase in the game. I mean, it helps that the county of Paris is so freaking strong. Young Erin's finished her education in diplomacy. It's evident she's excelled in her studies. Uh, she is going to be a charismatic negotiator. Um, who hates me? Because we're rivals. My half-sister. Well, let's... And she's ambitious. Uh, okay. As I say, let's... <laughs> I don't know exactly what our plan is there. Uh, we're probably just going to try to hook her up for some sort of matrilinear marriage and call that good enough. Um, Prince of Bavaria, he's 51. He doesn't actually have any ranks, he just has some claims on things. But I think that's what we're going to do. The whole idea... Um, oh, Carling. Carling Frankish. Oh, yes. Um, I think what we're going to do is still, you know, go with the plan of marrying matrilinearly where we can, try to get our dynasty to get some claims. We're, I mean, this is sort of a shotgun approach. We're not, you know, because we're just taking this screen over here, we're not hunting the same way. But it's going to be a start. I mean, I suppose we could, um, we could betroth you to something else. But let's go with this. Hell, there's a chance he'll die early and we'll marry her to someone else. I don't know. Something. Uh, arrange marriage. Boom. Plus, having her go far away might be a good idea. <clears throat> All right, goodbye. Oh, he came to the court. Right, because it's a matrilinear marriage. Carl Carling is in our court. Oh, I forgot about that. That is very interesting. We have a strong claim on the kingdom of Bavaria. <clears throat> and it will be inherited as well. Now, do you have any kids already? No, you don't. I didn't even check to see if there was anything that might screw up your, um, your, what's the word I'm looking for? Fertility. But I don't think there is, and I don't think that my sister does. In fact, she's got a bit of a perk for it, so. Um, arg. Drunkard, let us, the people know about our plot here. Mm. I admit I wasn't looking at all the uh, the traits here, but invite. Maybe I should toggle this or something. I don't know. Um, a while ago, I noticed the frail nature of my superior grandmaster Aphagus. Oh, this is this is the the assassins. People whisper about the spineless dullard, but no one has dared to draw any attention to the matter. However, for all grandmaster Aphagus knows, maybe there's a plot in the workings. I could blackmail him to get what I want. I want some of his influence, uh, so we would become bitter rivals, but I get a bunch of divine power. Or I will win his trust by a promise to be on his side. You know what? I want some of his influence. We're going to take the divine power, which means we can rank up. Enemies are growing bolder. They spread their vile heresies, poisoning the minds of our people. This cannot continue. Count Jorge of Dax is one of the worst defenders. A daren't turn him into an example to fill our enemies' hearts with dread. So I'm going to have a mission over here to assassinate this guy. But I can't start plotting yet because I've got an existing plot that I would like to finish here, if at all possible. All right, I'm going to move my spy master to there. I hereby grant you permission to advance the next rank within the Assassins. Boom. So what kind of powers do I get here? Um, I get a lot more murder plot power, which is good. Personal combat. I can intimidate ruler for a favor as well. Hmm. 99.9% .9 plot power. We're getting there. You're still too expensive to go in suck up to. Oh, I'm no longer paranoid. That's too bad, actually, because I think it just lowered my plot power. Alright, let's go ahead and invite these guys in here. Try to get up a little higher. Okay, let's see what we can do. I would love to become a duke. That would be such a huge increase. It's Frozen Shadow Dragon! 
You don't have any ambition yet. I will pick, um... Etiquette. A uh, rumor about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. Not concerned. Behead him. Would upset the temple vassals, but would give me Marshall for a while. Or I could kill him with my bare hands, gaining more prestige. Let's just gain the piety. I don't know. None of those are particularly strong or meaningful options, I think. I was hoping there'd be... I don't know, I caught a spy. How come they didn't increase my intrigue or something? You know what I mean? Family focus... Acquire title. Um, I can probably... You know what? I'm going to change my focus to intrigue. That actually seems like an excellent idea. We're now at 100% over here. Um, okay, same event. Uh, maybe I should have actually killed them. Because there's still someone theoretically snooping around. I don't know. Does this actually cap out exactly 100%? Can you not go over? There we go. It was just such a perfectly round number. It seemed kind of odd. Come on, give me the duchy title. Of course, we're going to need some money from Mercs if we're going to press this, truly. But, I mean, we're accruing money. And you're collecting taxes, which is fine. No tech. Um... My sin is too great, so I must show repentance. I care not what others think heaven is only for the truly repentant. I will don the Celis to show the depth of my repentance. So this guy's still weird, because he's still like the secret Shia, but he's also got the voice of Jesus. Oh, and I still owe the money to the uh, the Jewish moneylenders. At least I could still borrow money from the assassins. That's going to be something. Um, So I can intimidate you. No, I can't. Oh, he's probably too high rank for me to really do something. Choices are expiring, so he might decide to, like, insist that I give him a county or some damn thing. And your children are still too young for me to actually get a marriage going on for a truce with you. Um, unless a sibling? You don't have any real siblings. Um, yeah. We need more damn relationships. This won't be as much of a problem once I get a, a duchy. Because if I lose Paris at that point, well, at least we're still in a much more secure area. It'll still be kind of annoying, but... And now if I lost Paris, I would still be the Count of Orleans. So, I mean, there are options, but... Jesus Christ, our Lord. Maybe. I don't know has commanded me to give more to the poor. I cannot ignore his calling. Lose some gold, gain some piety. Ooh. Yeah, the losing the gold is actually really annoying here. Okay, we have to change our focus to build a war chest. I could have done that a little sooner. Again, new decision, which is extort subjects. Ooh, lose church walls. So we're just going to do that. It's going to upset everyone, but that's going to be okay. Tax is obviously necessary. Uh, I have a chance of becoming stressed. How is our revolt risk? 1%. It's probably okay. Um, oh, it's not our plot that worked. It's this, which is going to cost me money. That's really... I'm wondering if I should just change this. I don't know what, like, the mean time to succeed with this plot power is. Because this would mean I don't have to spend money. On the other hand, this way I get to go a little sooner. I guess one of the questions is, could I actually even declare war on her right now? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, she can't levy many troops for some weird reason. Are they already out in the field or something? Could be because we're at war. I can levy more troops. You know what? What could possibly go wrong? We're going to use it. Pause, pause, pause. And we are going to declare war on her now. Oh, it was just a single county. That's not the duchy one anyway. Still, you know what? Then we'll do it. It will cost me... Oh, I have a truce! 
for six goddamn years. Oh, well then. I shouldn't have bothered. I could see that I, I was allowed to declare war. Cause, but yeah, truce breaking would be bad. Damn it. Alright, that's kind of sucky. We'll come back to you. Child focus. Uh, declare glory. Looks like we will go for martial education because you're rowdy. Uh, lately I've found myself worrying about my little son to declare glory. Lad is brought up believing in false god. Who, oh, um, no, no, no. We're not going to educate him in the Shia. We are a very complicated person. It feels like like one part of us is becoming like the ideal follower of Christ, and the other part of us is a Shia assassin. Cattle's been disappearing. It was returned. Temporary intrigue boost. That actually sounds like it's probably a really good idea. Although, it will give me cruel and another relationship hit, and that might not be great. Let's just do it. It's fine. Yeah, see, we actually are losing some plot power, I think, because we probably lost some people from the plot. Uh, we need to hire a new steward. So we're going to go ahead and hire this guy. And the steward needs to be collecting taxes in Paris. Thank you. I can extort subjects again. Now, I believe this stacks... Yeah, I don't know if we're going to hit the button right now. I think the, the the penalty, the minus 10, I think it stacks and it gets to be pretty bad. Although you can raise money pretty damn fast doing it. Um, for too long I believed that it was the Greeks who would inherit the earth. Then Jesus whispered <laughs> that it was simply a typo in my Bible and that in reality it was the meek. Oh, okay. I will gain the trait humble. And again, I have to give money to the poor. Oh, a daughter was born. Oh, this is the uh, the spy master who's the heir to the clan. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, a new son was born. I have my list open over here. We need to pick up. Um, I just realized I don't actually have a mark as to where things go. Oh, right there. There it is. So I believe our next child will be called Marcus. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the right spot. Definitely, definitely not missing someone. I just don't. It's possible that I've already named someone Marcus, but I don't think so. So there we go. Any special traits? Ooh, you are attractive. Well, congratulations, Marcus Anonymous. Which actually sounds like a great name. Marcus Anonymous. I, I know, I guess it's because it maybe sounds like, um, uh, like some of the, um, the, the Roman names. That's probably exactly what's going on here. Alright, we still have that weak claim. We have things we can do there, in theory. We're still trying to plot over here, although some of these things are going down. Uh, just because I'm a little less likable. Ooh, that's a big enemy group. Um, Arixit could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. Right, so if I do this, again, we'll become bitter rivals. By, from being too ambitious, I guess. I don't think I want more of my kids to be um, rivals. I don't want to become stressed. That's bad. Give her patient... Which would then give me out of patience for like five years. Her becoming ambitious is good. Although, bitter rivals... No, I'm just going to say she's got to learn on her own. I don't want all my children to be my bitter rivals because I want them to be effective. And I don't want an effective person killing me. Um, trying to focus on my training, but he is always there. No matter if I'm studying in the Great Order Library, hid behind piles of books, or sparring with a fellow assassin, Azim apparently has to do the same. His taunts and snide comments, they're driving me mad. Time to determine who the superior assassin is. We could challenge him. Or, let him try, I'm not even easily provoked. Would give me focused on training for five years, giving me a boost to intrigue, learning, and personal combat skill. I'm going to do it because I actually want the boost to intrigue here. Although, I kind of wanted to also do a duel, but I don't think my personal combat skill is that great. So I'd probably lose. Uh, the young Rexus loves doing things on her own and often takes it personally and gets angry when others offer opinion. I could make her diligent, which is really good, actually. Diligent is a really good trait. Because... Oh, I don't think she actually became diligent. It was Rixith, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. I guess it was just a chance. Who is this? Ian in Canada! You are going to... I don't know. You'll take, uh... Duty. There. That's what you're going to take. Same same decisions, extort subjects. At least I, I don't have the go into hiding anymore, so presumably no one's trying to kill me. 
So maybe that's okay. I don't know. Bavaria and other area? That can't be a coincidence. I don't think you realize that. Uh, ooh, you're trying to spit a heresy. He is mad. Arrest him. So we've got a court chaplain spot open. Uh, let's go ahead and give this guy. You know, he's two points lower, but it's not that much. And, you know, at least it'll make him a little happier. And hopefully he's not going to pose me on the council or anything annoying that way. Um, court chaplain. You know what? You might need to hunt some apostates over here because we might have a few kicking around. Um, in terms of prison over here. Um, I suppose we might just banish him. Oh, it's only 2.7 gold. Unless, demand religious conversion. There you go. Let's go back to being Catholic. There we go. See, I'm nice. Court physician, we are going to assign... He doesn't like me very much, but he's really good. You know what? We will go ahead and assign him that, the monk. This, this Was this the guy that I just imprisoned and then released? Tyrant fired from council. Yeah, but you brought it on yourself, buddy. Come on, let's be realistic. Uh, there are some disease going around. It looks... Okay, never mind. It's It's gone off a little bit. There had been some, some bits of disease. There's some going on. Consumption in the south of England. So far, so good. Still would like that, that duchy tile to work out. I don't know. Maybe I should do one of my freaking... Um... Like, I don't know. Immediately revoke your title as Count. To remove your revoke your title as County of Paris. It doesn't even say remove your revoke your title as Count of Paris. I don't want to go to war with him again. I got other shit going down. I'm going to finally say yes. There's the County of Paris. Now we'll still have a title in Paris somewhere, and then yeah, we'll have the county. I'm just... Although. What's he going to do? Cut off my other arm? Well, maybe. He is not currently in a war. I mean, that might cause more people to rise up against him. I'm not sure. The series is called The Count of Paris. What happens when I'm not The Count of Paris anymore? Any chance we could just kill you off? Hmm. I was worried about that when our uh, truce went away. Why are they so insistent about taking Paris? I guess because it's so good? It might be a specific decision that he can take or something like that. You know what? I decline. I'm going to raise up my troops first. I decline. I'm going to raise the banner of rebellion. Um, which should mean I can raise a few other supporters. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, which included taking away some of the guys I think that had been supporting him. <laughs> um, let's group up there. You go there. You go there. I mean, he might be able to raise up a few more things. Go. My, uh, my sin is great. Must show repentance. All right, lose some more prestige. That's okay. We're going to slow down the game speed a scooch. That battle should be okay. The reinforcements seem to be coming in safely. I think we can win our little rebellion here. And keep Paris for a little bit longer. Happy I declined. Although, he's getting a few guys. Um, let's do this. Boom. Group, group. Actually, you go there. You, you go there. That's going to be fine. We don't have full morale, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, Vassal levies raise too long. Who is this? Oh, it's Ben's retard! Let's give you, uh, let's give you Thrift. Trying to shake it around a little bit. Just being semi-random with my button clicks. Want a battle? 
Uh, Antal was captured. Who's this guy? Um, no one that... Okay, it's fine. Uh, ooh, okay. So he's starting to, to group up his people. But we should still have the numbers. Be nice to get that guy in Paris right now, but that's okay. Rick's has finished her studies. Ooh, intricate web weaver. And a genius. And she doesn't hate me. God damn. Okay. Well, I mean, obviously it's still really important that we keep her match linear because we want to introduce the genius trait inside of our bloodline. I think I'll probably just go ahead and hit this button and see what we can do. Um... Huh. Be nice if we could double genius things up. Increase the odds. I don't see anything at a glance. We've got someone attractive. We've got people with claims. I don't know. Sort by age and I mean I don't want the hunchback. We get a non-aggression pack for someone that doesn't really matter. You do have a claim, but you're a bastard, so I don't know. It might be fine. Childrick doesn't like me. Oh, oh, I usurped this title. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, we've got a gray eminence here with a fertility boost. You've got a claim to Thuringia. I think this is what's going to happen. Match your linear marriage. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay with that. Oh yeah, my banner changed because I'm I'm the leader of the revolt. Fair enough. Okay, where are you going? Oh, to Orleans. Can we? We can do that. Um, we have to be a little careful about that bigger group, though. I think stay here, and you work your way over there, and then we're finishing this. Uh, we're gonna have about the same number of troops. Uh, slightly superior numbers, actually. Now, in terms of where the encounter is gonna happen. Oh! Excellent! This guy here! We're getting so many kids that are gonna air that up. That's gonna be great. We've got. Next up is gonna be Yuko Finn! Yuko Finn, spelled that way. A daughter was born. Yeah, and to Robble. This guy is so interesting. Strong claim on the Cagnate of Buchel. I wonder if we, we're going to get something going there. It'll be really interesting to see. Um, okay, let's group you guys up. And let's see, actually, now, if we can't intercept one of these smaller groups. Starting to group up. I don't know here. This might be a good example of why we would do better without the um, the shattered retreat. Oh, did it change you both? We weren't supposed to do that. I have diarrhea. Ew! You're sitting on the floor of your bedchamber wearing one of your shoes as a hat when suddenly a man-sized gopher enters his room. It's dressed as a maid. When you shout an alarm, the rodent squeaks and skitters away in panic. You chase it down the hall, but only find a terrified maid cowering on the floor. Lose some prestige. Uh, bubonic plague? Are you kidding me? Spices and fatty food to treat your diarrhea. I might have the plague. vomiting now. Join up over here and hopefully it's enough. We will have a defensive major river crossing penalty. This might work out, assuming we can get there in time. Um, you've got no characters on that flank. Uh, let's put Kansor there, so at least we've got something. Although he might be better in the middle. Kansor, 
you, and then you. Okay. Get in there. Suggest you follow the instructions to combat the food poisoning you're most likely suffering from. Oh, you think I've got food poisoning? Well, that's better than pubonic plague. Uh, eat ten apples a day. I'm not sure that did anything. Yeah, I'm not convinced he's that, that effective. Double over in cramps. Suddenly beset by cramps. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, big battle here. Okay, hold on, hold on. <gasps> I got the glitter hoof event! I got the glitter hoof event! Your horse has always struck you as being a dependable sort. A quality you feel is sorely lacking your counselor. It's time to shake things up. You will appoint him as your new chancellor. <laughs> okay, so who's my current chancellor? It's this guy here with the 20 freaking diplomacy skill. Oh, man. But we're going to have Glitterhoof instead, who for some reason has a diplomacy skill of zero. <laughs> uh, idle counselor members. Um, you know what? Just perform statecraft, man. You've, you've got this. <laughs> ah, I mean, I can still change it, but I think I've got to leave him there. Because it's too cool, too funny. Alright, so we have a slight numbers disadvantage, and there are potentially more reinforcements that could join in here. I've got potentially enough money. Oh, there's more vassal levies around somewhere. Oh, over there. I've got potentially enough money to quickly get a merc band and maybe throw them in there. They probably won't reach in time. Oh, I have to hit one of these buttons. Oh, for crying out loud, I have to hit one of these buttons to make it go. It doesn't just auto-fire. You stupid... Okay, well, that's fine. We still had a truce, so it's going to be fine. So it means, actually, I could go... You know what? I'm going to go and change my plot. We're going to try to kill this guy instead. And we can come back to it. Okay. Um... Wow, you guys are busted. Yeah, there's no one really... Alright, we're just gonna have to do this battle and hope it works out. Stop you from vomiting. He told me to sleep with an acorn under my pillow. I'm glad I hired him. Apparently that's good symptoms treatment. Uh-huh. Come on. Oh, he got reinforcements. But this river crossing, is it still gonna prove the difference? We're doing okay. I feel the love of God infuse my soul. Jesus tells me it's the only way to truly glorify him. I'm gonna become charitable. And when you're not passing over, when you're not passing loose stool in the chamber pot, you're bent over retching. You're suffering from food poisoning, officially. Okay. Yeah, their morale is dropping a little fast. Oh, there we go. My trusty and loyal steed, Glitterhoof, is likely to be the target of all manners of malicious attacks by my enemies to destabilize my rule. I could have my smiths forge it a set of armor to aid in protecting my most precious companion. Only... Oh, 200 gold. I don't have 200. A strong set of armor will keep him safe. Adds heavy male horse armor to the treasury of Glitterhoof. All right, that's fine. Court physician come around, offers treatment for your illness, several different types. Um, experimental, mystical, well tested. Let's do a mystical one. Mystical treatments have always worked out interestingly for us. Uh, he stood at the end of the bed as servants lit the candles. A pot was placed in your hands. Judging from the sound, it contains a terrified rat. The creature will carry your burdens in your stead. Then the chanting begins. I feel different. I will get mystically altered for a while. I'm going to lose the trait ambitious and gain the trait honest. Okay, that's not going to help the intrigue. And we are going to win this. Go, go, major river crossing. Huge, huge victory for us. Look at that. So, um, that's them. Casualties. Yeah, they lost many more people than we did, which is great. Group up. And let's go and pop this tiny little group here first. Just because we have no morale. But we're going to go around and do a bunch of these. Oh, I think they're going to escape. Then turn around and hit these guys instead. I mean, I could try to chase these guys down, but it's kind of annoying. And we've got some things to kill. Oh, no, I died! Probably of disease. If your character now... Oh, that's my new heir. So I am playing as Declare Glory, and my next heir will be Ian in Canada. Well, so much for the one-armed, possessed, lunatic, secret Shia assassin. Um, and also maybe Glitterhoof? 
Tell me he's still in my court somewhere. Damn it, we spent that money. Oh, he's still here! <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Short range foreigner? Am I a foreigner? Is it because I'm French? And the horse is not? Frank the horse might be Frankian. Um Alright, Chancellor. I guess we'll put you in. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, see, no one's got, like, you know, the strong position. Did, is it working? Oh, it's Regency! I probably can't do it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, it feels a little odd, but all right. I can press some ducal claims. Yeah, we're going to have to revisit that. I forgot that you have to hit the button. Turn, again, does this reset my um, my truce? Is something we'll have to figure out. Um... Okay, I could attack you there, but that would be the big river crossing, so I would rather go around that. You're starting to come back. I think we're going to look to... Oh, shit, they caught me. Run away. Run away. Run. All right, there we go. Let's group up. Should be all right. I'm really going to look to engage part of this. I don't need many things. I can share what I have. I'm going to become charitable. Oh, good diplomacy boost. All right. Grab you. You are moving into shop, which I would have the river crossing if I were to attack there. Now, if I start here and they reinforce, hmm. That's probably just the, uh, the group of two here. We're at 91%, actually. Oh, okay, hold on. That was not ideal, because now we have the regular river crossing, and they're reinforcing. And they've got superior strengths. Um, run faster. Run, 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 run. Okay, yeah, that was not great. I don't suppose there's anyone else I can raise up new. No. We're not actually running to where we have a river to defend ourselves. Oh, you must be in another war with some people. That's good for me. Okay, where's... Oh, 99, 100%. 100%. <laughs> Offer peace. Enforce demands. Okay. So, we've kept our title for a little longer, and we have a new truce going on. We can, yeah, disband that. That's going to be okay. So, we still have those. That's us, Count of Paris, Count of Orleans. We also have the Barony. Um, which is something. Who's our regent? The mayor, who at least likes us a little bit. Hopefully, what actually, what kind of traits does he have? Honest, brave, cruel, zealous, trusting. Okay, he's probably safe. He's probably not going to steal all of our money and or try to kill us. And wow, this video has gone on way too long. <sighs> well, it's a shame we don't have Hunter Billico. But I, I, I feel they're going to be... Oh, this is our legitimized bastard. I feel they're going to be great things that will happen with Declared Glory over here. Um, he's going to be fantastic. And, and Oh, there we go. Maybe I couldn't assign people at war or something weird like that. That could be. That could be. Uh, this guy doesn't like me particularly much, but... He's by far the best spy master. So let's go back in there. Um, let's... I can't plot right now, so that's okay. Um... I can compose a book. Huh. I don't know if I realized that was a button that you could click. That seems to happen a lot. Levy, this, that. We don't have retinue stuff yet. No, no, that's still way too early for permanent retinues. We need a lot more tech going on. <sighs> All right, not too shabby. Oh, I should probably redeploy my people to do some things. Um, like fabricating a claim on... Presumably the duchy here. Uh, you are researching military tech, which I think is okay. You are going to raise money in Paris. Um, just go ahead and scheme for now. That's going to be okay. And try to raise some cultural tech. Yeah, apparently we can keep defending Paris over and over and over from our king. It'd be great to get him to stop that. What we have to do... Oh, I wonder if we can... 
Oh, did Pepin die? I wonder if we can arrange a betrothal. It's not so far off. It's not so far off, but it's still not quite there. It'd be really handy if we could do that. I suppose we could... What if we matrilinearly married? Um, no, I'm, I'm not marrying him. Um, hang on. Arrange betrothal with one of my brothers. Matrilinear. No, still not enough. Okay. I was hoping that, like, maybe it would be that and would still give us some sort of truce or something. But, no, that's okay. Alright, well, we'll end it here. Um, I don't know what's necessarily happening to West Francia. We're not in any wars, so they might... I don't know who they're fighting then. Which is interesting. Huh. Alright, anyway, we'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.